40 years ago, the Cabbage Patch doll was the must-have item for the holidays. The dolls were released in 1983, and madness ensued. Yeah, that's to put it mildly. Tonight, in another exclusive Fox 5 flashback, we look back to see just how chaotic it really was. Is this the most lovable face in America? It's certainly the most sought after. The problem is there are more kids that want them than there are dolls, and the struggle to get hold of one has sparked near riots in stores throughout the country. This Scranton department store was almost overwhelmed by thousands of desperate mothers. The Cabbage Patch Kid is different, all right. She, or he, is kind of funny looking, comes with a set of adoption papers and a folklore of its own. Born in Georgia, the doll is now made by Coleco Industries, which appears to have underestimated demand. It becomes like a fever. You know, everyone has one, you want to get one for your child, so you just go out and do it. And that's about it. My husband thinks i No, not really, no. <laughs> I think I'd do anything for my son. <laughs> Well, in Clifton, the Round Man store has entered the Cabbage Patch Wars. The store placed ads offering to buy the $20 doll for $40 and resell it for $50. The response sensational. 2,000 customers yesterday from as far away as Boston. More today. You have 11 dolls that you wish to sell? Uh, these are new dolls with the paper. I don't know if I'm going to do that because they're originally only 20 So I don't think it's worth it. What you hear? I'm going to see. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what makes a child love a face like this when she can have this? Psychologists say children identify more with an average face than a stunning beauty. Whatever the reason, the Cabbage Patch Kid is melting hearts and wallets all over America. In Clifton, Wendy Sherman, News 9.